Hey, what's up you guys? MRJ33352 coming at you with something different. I want to touch on this because I feel like because I'm a fan, a wrestling fan, I feel like I got enough insight and knowledge to what a heel face means, kayfabe, commentary, you know, shoot, interviews mean. And I want to touch on this subject. The, I'm going to call this one the John Cena debate. Um, let me tell you some more about myself. I'm 30. I, um, I started watching wrestling in 88, 89, probably around maybe the end of 87, right after WrestleMania 3, right around that time. I didn't know what an NWO was or... Um, NWA, I'm sorry, or what Ric Flair was. All I knew was Hogan, Andre the Giant, and WWF during the time. Um, wrestling was good for me because it made me believe who got me into wrestling was Hulk Hogan. This guy, larger than life person, and back then I was maybe five, six, seven. No, yeah. So, this larger than life person telling me to take my prayers, say my say my prayers, take take my vitamins, and train hard, he made me believe. So when I would go outside and play with my friends, he also made my friends believe too, especially some of my friends that didn't have a father coming up, you know. And we all know wrestling is fake, but during that time, and until we got a little older, we thought it was actually real, you know, because it was like cartoon characters coming to life, you know. And, um... Yeah, it was Hogan that got me into it. And, you know, over time it changed and evolved and started learning the real stuff. You know, that's real. It's not real. And, it's, you know, and friends at school that had older brothers or whatever. You know, I even had an older brother myself that would tell me, give me heads up as to what it really is behind the scenes. A father as well. But I'm tr what I, the point I'm trying to make is this. This John Cena debate. Does this guy suck? Well, he's really not that bad of a person. I mean, I, I, I listen to some of these online debates about how much people hate John Cena. And if he wins, how they're going to kill themselves or, or, or shoot themselves or break the TV because John Cena won the title. And the reason why I'm bringing this debate up is because John Cena is a 15-time world champion. And he's won more from time, Ric Flair, actually. If you're a big wrestling fan, and if you know you're wrestling, you know damn well as much as I do, he's going to pass Ric Flair, period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. By the time he retires, he may be a 20-time or a 24-time world champion, you know? But, you know, when he comes out, I've been to about four live events, by the way, one of them which is on this page. Um, when he comes out, two Raw events and two live events, you know, um, when he comes out, his presence, the way WWE has pushed him out there and made him a household name as a WWE superstar, you kind of get excited. And you get excited to the point where you either going to boo him or you either going to cheer him. But the fact that he's in the building just is enough right there to make you feel like, you know, your ticket sales were worth it. You know, just the fact that you at a live event. And whether you hate the guy or love the guy, just the fact that you know he's there and everybody else around you is happy and excited, you, you kind of get excited that he's on his way out. You know, when that music drops, you like, all right, here we go. He may, yes, I know he may have five moves, you know, and it, some of his moves may be corny and gay, but it wasn't no different from, to me, he's a, like a, he's like a, Okay, there are faces of the WWE, faces of the company. Hogan was a face of the company. Ultimate Warrior was a face of the company. Macho Man was a face of the company at one point. And Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels took it in a different direction. And they were the face of the company. And Stone Cold Steve Austin was the face of the company. Now, I know you had guys like Undertaker, Sergeant Slutter, Ric Flair, and maybe other champions in between there like Diesel. But they weren't really like the like the face of the company, like the leader of the game. Like he had Brett, who was the leader of the new generation, leaving the Hogan era, and behind him was a whole stack of new wrestlers. 
You know, no more 80 cartoon gimmicks. You know, you had Sean, who was the leader of the new generation. And you might as well say Sean brought in the Attitude Era along with Triple H. Was the beginning, was the start of it. I'm not saying that he, well, he might as well have started it with DX, but he was the face of a company. You had Steve Austin, who just, like Vince, to quote Vince McMahon, grabbed the WWE by the throat and said, Let's go. You know, that's what Steve Austin did. And, you know, you had The Rock, who was kind of the face of the company. You know, so, you know, you had Joe Stars and then Triple H, who was the face of the company. And you got John Cena. John Cena. Now, I know Eddie Guerrero, Chris Benoit, rest in peace, those guys. Eddie Guerrero could have been the face of the company, but I think Randy Orton, uh, you know, put it this way. Who would you rather see in action? Probably most of you would pick Randy Orton over uh, John Cena, you know. I'm just saying this to say this. John Cena really ain't that bad. And, and John Cena being earned my respect, I don't really have a problem with the guy. He's just really not that bad, you know. When he comes on TV, do I flip the channel? Yeah, I might flip it to another TV show. But I'll turn it back because he's really not that bad. See, the problem is... When Roman Reigns comes into the picture, which he's already in there, and when he start, when the WWE starts shoving him down our throats the way they did John Cena, most people are going to start saying they hate John Cena. That hate the people that hate John Cena are going to start saying they hate Roman Reigns. Now, who would you rather have, Roman Reigns or John Cena? Because John Cena can speak well over the mic. Roman Reigns, he needs help. But one guy, I want to say, came up with a suggestion on the Solid Monster on TV tracks that Paul Heyman at WrestleMania 31, because it's looking like Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar, Paul Heyman turns his back on Brock Lesnar and joins up with Roman Reigns. It's supposed to be the WrestleMania shocker. So it's kind of like what The Rock did. You know, what Vince did, what Steve Austin and The Rock did when he became the corporate champion. And the next night on Raw, uh, Seth Rollins cashes his, in his money in the bank. And it was the authorities' plan all along to get Roman Reigns to take the title from Brock. Because Triple H never did like Brock. And Brock is on his way out the door anyway. Personally, I think Rock, Brock Lesnar has something to prove in the UFC. He may be the WWE champion, but we they we know wrestling is scripted and fake. And people that really don't like wrestling really give it a bad though though really throw salt at it that that you know know it's fake and they just really put up extras on it. But what I'm trying to say is Brock Lesnar has something to prove. I think Brock Lesnar is gonna return to the UFC to fight a few more times. I don't think Brock Lesnar's gonna go back to um coming back to WWE. Personally, I think he has something to prove in the UFC. So when his contract is up, and for those of you who don't know, his contract will be up. Um, his last day is supposed to be WrestleMania 31, unless they come to an agreement between now and then next year. Um, I think he's going to go back to the UFC to prove something. And in the meantime, like Vince McMahon said, his good old good-looking wrestlers, Roman Reigns will be the next champ. Unless all of the fans join in with Daniel Bryan again. But there's probably no chance in hell Daniel Bryan will be in that spotlight like that again. So, that's the debate I wanted to... And what about Batista? Let me throw Batista out there too. Batista's supposed to have a retirement match at WrestleMania 31 next year with Triple H. That's the word on the street because Batista wants to start doing movies and he's older now. He's about 45, 46. And... He wants, to have, he wants Triple H to beat him and retire him. Because we got to remember, if you're a big wrestling mark like myself, tr Triple H put Batista over three pay-per-views in a row. So what a way for Batista to pay his good buddy Triple H back. They get along too, by the way, behind the scenes. There's no beef. On camera there is, but behind the scenes there's not. Um, pay his good buddy back by... You know, losing to a big main event, wrestle, not a main event, but a WrestleMania match. It still keeps Triple H strong because he didn't lost enough matches. He didn't put over enough people. But don't get it twisted. At one point in time, I believe it was, what, 2002 to 2004, Triple H was one stingy SOB winning every single match. 
And no matter what nobody says, I still believe Booker T should have defeated Triple H at WrestleMania 19. Period. But that's Triple H for you. Back then that was, you know. Um, and that's it. So bottom line is John Cena's really not that bad. He's just not that bad of a he's a bad okay well, he's not that bad, not to the point where you hate him. Now I can see if um and about him turning heel or becoming a bad guy, I don't see how that could happen. You guys boo him already enough. He gets booed already enough. The only way that can happen is if um I don't know. He showed up to another organization and all and I hope God bless Jeff Jarrett promotion. Because all I want is an alternative. TNA is on their way to the Discovery Velocity channel. I think that's a channel for little kids and 12 year olds that does science. You know, TNA is finished. Yeah, TNA is. They done, man. But yeah, they hanging in there. I wish AAA would show on TV. You know, America TV like American Cable and New Japan and Ring of Honor. All I'm saying is, me being a big wrestling mark, I wish they had an alternative. So we can stop all these dumb storylines like the Bella Twins and all that. Going off the air on Raw with the Bella Twins. and You know, and... Just, it's so much more to say, because I got to mention Bray Wyatt and Sting possibly returning for one more match at WrestleMania 31, one and only match at WrestleMania 31. It makes no sense for him to fight The Undertaker now, period. I just don't think he should. I think he should go against somebody like Bray Wyatt. So and that's, if that's the case then, they need to start keeping Bray Wyatt stronger and not have him lose to John Cena on live TV. It's a it's it's a bunch. It's a bunch of stuff, but I'm gonna stop it right there.